Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melgucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Much. I have to go treasure chest. I think I know there's one and it's not great. Minus four, minus one. If it's one, minus four. Cool. Use your weapon. Double turn, teach your power. Deal five damage to a flyer. Okay. Bug of holding. Mm. Minimus containment. This is great. This is like pacifism. Dragon's fire. This is great. This is three damage. Buongiorno, people. You missed the modern league, but you're right on time for the ether. Um, Macassus again, awaken from the Forgotten Realms. Couldn't it go D&D &D set? It's so much easier anyway. Yeah, I'm just taking Dragon's Fire over the Minimus Containment. They're both good, but... You have extra feature point and can venture in front of... Alright. Two mana one, whenever these common damage you play, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Cool, this card is cool. Right. Reach. The classic black card with reach. Boom Stalker. Yeah, stop people. You have seven trophies on uh on Magic Online. That's very cool. I think the, the, this is their pick. Dry Drider Dreeder. Severely mediocre, you say JLQ. Really? Why? Oh, because it doesn't have manas, I see. Alright, I'm not taking it then. I actually take Ignol Hunter. I believe this card I remember this card to be insane the last time I played with it. It's like the like the card from uh, Thirst Beyond Death, the Beetle. Six mana four for flyer. When it's about for each to each opponent. Not bad. This will mix treasures, not bad. Hop Goblin Captain. This was very good last time I played. By last time I played, I mean uh, last week. That's, that's when I made my my last draft. Alright, cards are mostly medium. I'm taking a Hop Goblin Captain. I'm lucky to play to pick up a six drop this early. Here's something to watch. I love this card. Two mana two two. I want to keep those mana. Seems good. Bard, Pleasant Kenobi, Under Under Dark Basilisk. I'm taking the Armored Veteran. I want to cut red. I have two very good red card. I want to cut red here. To my left, Orb of Dragon Kind. I don't want to read that. I don't want to read that. Hmm. I'm taking the Rapier. We have Armory Veteran. Uh, I have to take the equipments to make them stronger. Kenobi is good. I agree. But I think Kenobi is a good card. Oh wow, Swarming Goblin 6th pick. Isn't this card like very good? 5 mana, 4, 3, and a token. Maybe 2 token. Maybe it's not that good. I don't know. Plus 2 mace. What's this? Our creature or planeswalker and control phases out. Okay. No, what happened? Alright. Hobgoblin Captain. Funny enough, there's three cards that I want to add to my popper cube in this pack, in this in this picks already. I want to add up Goblin Captains, Worming Goblins, and also Dueling Rapier. I think Dueling Rapier is a very good uh, combo trick. That happens to also just be an Equip Matter card. I don't have Armory Veteran in the cube. Ooh. Yeah, I can definitely blink this. Oh wow, Boots of Speed, I love this. Oh wait, this is a rare. When it's dealt damage, you are going to put in each draw card. Cool. Cool. Cool card. 
What's wrong with Hellbreacher and Commander? Oh, wow. Plundering Barbarian or Valor Singer? I'm thinking the Singer, but I also love Plundering Barbarian. For now, we are Mono Red. For now, we're Mono Red, and it's a pretty good place to be, honestly. How many people bought Old Breacher to play in Commander in my chat right now? I only bought one. For the commit for the for the cube, the foil promo, whatever it was. I don't think I paid that that much, honestly. Because I think I bought it before the I don't know. Before everything, so it wasn't that I don't, know, I don't remember actually. I'm just taking Monterey cards. Was that by the way? Not bad. I mean I'm taking Monterey cards. If I get to be monocolor. Oh wow, isn't this card like a, a good card? I think card is better. Jeffrey. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Welcome. Over and here. Over and here. I'm red drafting Lyra of the Hydra. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm red drafting Lyra of the Hydra here, of course. Okay, it's time to read this card. First level, if you would roll one dice, okay. Um, okay. And imagine starting a sentence. Imagine thinking that there will be cards that start sentence with if you would roll one or more dice. I don't know if it's more awkward this sentence or room. What was the, the blue one gold room ability of dungeons? I think that's how it starts. All right, anyway, let's take the, 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 the rare pick. Oh, Bard class. Most of rare drop. Wait, this is this must be good. Legendary creatures you can turn on the Bible plus one plus one. Legendary spells. It's not great. It's not great. It's not great. Come on, it's a red green card. Red green. I think I'm taking Pippa hands here. Burning Pippa hands. Two mana shock that could be good later. Come on, I thought Bard class would be good. I read on, I read some articles that started with Bard class. All right, I'm taking another Boots of Speed. Why? How do you pronounce it? This did I pronounce it right? Why? Wait, actually, white is great. I think I'm not really drafting anymore, but like the same. Actually, I probably wield this Boots of Speed. Did I rare draft? Maybe it's not that good. I think I'm rare drafting though. Ooh, another rare. But this one is not playable. But I think I need to rare draft it. I guess keep oh. Alright. Okay, here's the boots of speed. Oh wait, there's there's judge or not. Is this card like so good? I remember I read it once, and I was like, what? This is Judge Renault with an upside. No? Yeah. Attacks. Oh, or blocks. Oh, or blocks. I didn't know. I didn't know it as the sentence, or blocks. All right. Not good. Okay. 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 I'll pass it. I'll pass it. Fine. Take a Butter Singer. Gloria Pegasus. Oh, this is a dog. What does it do? Merda, double strike? That's not bad. But I think I want to play Mono Red today. Wow, there's a lot of dogs. Hot dogs. Should I take Pleasant Kenobi, Le Boulet, or should I just keep on taking medium red cards? To end up in a medium Mono Red deck. I think I'll take Pleasant Kenobi. I think Pleasant Kenobi is very good. Oh wow, Spoils of the Hunt. Ogre is good, is it? I kind of feel like every color is open, it's insane. How is it possible that literally every color, everything is open? White is obviously open, red is obviously open, green is like... Yeah, I got this, what, seventh pick? Default, this is also bad, whatever, I'm just taking cards. 
Le bullet wield. Ray, I'm taking it. Cards are all bad. Am I playing this? No? Why did it made such hard? Uh, boat plus two mace. It's the only playable, I guess. I told you that boots of speed would have wheel. That was a great rare draft by Mangu. Such a big brain. There's no one that rare drafts better than Mangu, let me tell you. You have to rare draft exactly whenever you know that the the pick the cards you're picking is going to wheel. Six mana six six is fine, but that it blows up your land. So many boots. Might be too many boots, but I love boots of speed. Oh wait, I opened a rare. I'm sorry, a red rare. All the goblins get plus one plus one. Sure, I'm picking it. No, there's no goblin captain. It might be possible, and I'm not even joking, that hobgoblin captain is better than hobgoblin bandit lord. Back in the days, I used to say the sentence: "If I were, if I was, wait, if I." If I were at the PT, I would have taken Hall Goblin Captain. But now, not only the PTs don't feature draft, they just don't exist anymore. So this sentence will be removed from my vocabulary. Oh, Dan of the Bugbear, I love it. I got Tribe Hunter, 5 mana 4 for Trample Pack Tactics. That does a lot of things. Uh, let me read this. Shut up with a creature, two of our tips are great, this card, you to put another creature in my own, I mean, how many times they said creature on this card? It is cool, it's a cool card, taking down the bugler, of course. Leg count. Four mana, if, if ended up with mana of treasures, I kind of need a treasure, because I also have the spoils of the hunt that works with treasure, I guess this doesn't care about that. There's no mixed treasure. I love my deck. I love my hand. I even have the actual factual paper hands. Thank you, Deep Rock. Circle of Druid Dreams. I'm gonna expose the haunt. Come on in, come on in. Check the traps. Come on, open Oh, wait, this is the better. This card is better than Agonizing Remorse. I won the. I won yours? Yeah. Yeah, every time I won yours. That's how, that's how these things work. They make you feel special. They make you feel part of your country. Like they're very good. I can pick up this and sell it to the commander players. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. I'm um, taking the dark, dire, what's the, what's the word? Dark wolf brawler. Yeah, it's playable. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of celebrations. A lot of celebration. Unfortunately, like, I didn't get to experience it because I had to leave for the holiday. We, we already scheduled it. But it was nice for sure. Okay, I'll take another Armory Veteran. I love two drops. And um, I have three boots of speed and a dwelling right here. I only have four, five, two drop. That's good. Okay, I'm not taking more boots for speed. This card, huh? Hmm. I'm taking the Swarming Goblin over Fari De Farble. I'm on 23. But I guess this is really just not playable, so I'll hide it. Oh, another value singer, I love it. Yep. Red is so open. Swarm is nice with Bandit Lord. I think if a Bandit Lord. Three mana two, three other goblins get plus one plus one. One in a red it deals damage to the number of goblins and above of this turn to any target. Oh yeah, it's a very good combo. Although pick up an evolving wilds. I love to get Evolving Wilds. How many creatures I have in my deck? Perfect. 15. 
Le bullet. No one more bullets. Plus three plus three and must be blocked. This card is interesting. I don't think it's very good overall, but it's definitely interesting. Another pleasant Kenobi. I think it's better than Dark Wolf Brawler. I love I love uh I love the Pleasant Kenobi. Alright, I'll take Inspiring Bard. This card is probably better than Bullet. Clothis, yeah, I passed Clothis. Did you see? Oh, another Bard, great. Bard is just amazing if you want to trigger the uh pack tactics, which I certainly want for one card. Do I want to trigger pack tactics on more than one card? I forgot how, how annoying it is that you have to reset every time the overlay. Alright. Anyway, this is my deck. I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely open. Maybe the extension should work. The Twitch app should be working here. All right, now let me figure out. Boots of Speed is good. Dwelling Rapier is good. Pepe Hands is good. Dragon Fire is good. Honoring Barbarian is good. Valor Singer, very nice. This is the removal spell. Oh, yeah, this is my deck, 24. Pretty hyped on it. I think I'll go actually 17 lands because I have three, I have three rare lands here. Sorry, I have two rare lands. Then of the bugler and bugbear and the layer of the hydra. I think I'll go to 17. Because those are like some nice mana sinks. So I have to cut one card. Could be the Basilis, but I kind of don't want to cut any two drops. Could be the plundering barbarian. You want to add longbow? Mm, nah. Um. Very high on night boots. I'm very high on boots of speed. I think it's great. Kind of reminds me of lightning grapes. Which oh. you know I'm taking out Pleasant Kenobi? Mm. I don't know. Should I? Should I take out a Pleasant Kenobi? I think I'm taking out Planner and Barbarian. Do I have the wrap here? Hmm. Could be. Alright, I'll take out a wrap here. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. Trust me, trust me. The boots will be will be amazing. Red green boots. If you had red green boots or group of Pega, I think that like every time you have a grill deck, you're you are obliged to call it. You're obliged to call it group of Pega. Like, unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many, how many. Well, the mana, the mana is split. Yeah, it is. No, it's 17 lands. I have two uh, creature land. Let's go. Play. I don't need it, so she no bow. How's it going? I think I'll keep. Alright, we have to bottom a card. Could be chatting. I'm, I think I'm being greedy. I bought him a land here. Watch Mango Zeranova being heavily greedy. All right, a spare dagger. Nice. We got a money fandle. New web border card. I don't think there are no. I want to kill this now. Uh. I think I'll be greedy and let him equip. I'll be super greedy and let him equip here. Tip of hands. Nice. We got one mana cap. We got one mana. Another one. Alright. I wish I bottom one of my three drop. I kept the hand on six and the mulligan uh four is to the bottom. And of course proceeded to drop. Only three, only three drop. Make my choice not ideal, but that's okay. We had two, one, the two, two drops, so it's still fine here. We're still fine here. No Mimizu Shinobu. Too much greed. Well, what if I draw three lands? 
then we would have cried on the opposite side, right? That's what it is. We make choices. Life is made of choices and consequences. Okay, that's good. Um, I could uh, stone rain. Sorry, not stone rain. I could. Um, well, I, think I just play Pleasant Kenobi, I think. Oh, landing coming. Oh no. Also play 17 lands, which is, I think, uh, one extra. I think bottom all in there. It's awesome. Alright, so this becomes a 4 3. Did you play? Uh, fine. Four mana, one, four vigilance. Tap two, tap target creature. Bina. Uh, I guess I'm playing another Kenobi. Defending. Defending the fort. With my three mana, two, four. Oops. And probably has a second caller there. Uh, I think I'll begin by going to combat. So let's see what they do. They have a tapper. Okay, they don't do anything about it. Now, I could attack with this. I think attack is fine. But then I'll play a Plundering Barbarian and kill the Spear Dagger. Hello, Isians. Okay. They are taking the trade. Are they doing a, a combat trick defensive? It's so risky to do this plays. Yes, worked. Alright. We create a circle of moon druid for a you've ambushed a river, not on the road. We're gonna play a plundering barbarian, kill the sword, pass. This deck doesn't play great in defense, I have to say. Bear dagger, you have been killed. Because of the three one, he's uh, much smaller than a four three that it was. And they also forgot to tap. All right, planner ally. This is good. This is really good. Planner ally. I was wondering whether to put this in the cube. But, ooh, swarming goblin. <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. Let's just play it and see what happens. Roll 11. Good. So make two tokens. You don't want to trade this for a 3 1. Mm, not really, no thanks. And now my opponent will start uh, climbing this. Lost mine over there. Prandel. Prandelver. 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 Oh wow. Plus one plus one visions to the team. Do you attack with more people? No, you don't. Okay, cool. We didn't see any old bear. Yeah, that sucks. I agree, that sucks. Okay, Dragon's Fire. This is good. This can handle the Honor Ally. Not bad. Um, but I can't really attack here, can I? I guess I have to pass. I mean, in theory, I could attack, but in practice, I don't want to. Just the board is so dear. Opponent's mono white looks like they have five planes and I've played every card they have. Okay, five tap, choose a d20. Have a destroyed creature. Okay. Yeah, I'm just playing my cards. Pretty boring. Oh, coming from uh, Clawblade in Modern to this. You ask yourself, but why? Okay, they finally tap the thing. Now I can pump. I can pump this to a four. Yeah. Yes, I have sixed. So this card does kill it. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm, yeah, still passing here. We're coming to Senegalia. Nice. Anything you recommend doing here? Enjoy the, enjoy the beach and the relaxing life. Okay, you're going here. Interesting. Why? Oh, boost of speed. I was looking for you. Was I? Yeah, I was. That was like a plan. Yeah. It's basically like eat at point of the day. It's, it's a good suggestion. <laughs> I'm going with a plunder in Barbaria in here. This can pass through the things. But they have the Alpha Elf Monk, so. And I just don't really have a plan. Is my plan to just. I don't know. I don't really have a plan. I guess I could have moved the boots, but. What's left in my deck that is actually good? Not really much. The question is does my opponent have something that's good enough? What's the card size? 26 to 23. Oh, they were the Hydra. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, opponent's dungeoning. I can put a counter on it. That's cool. I wish I'd put in my boots on the Circle of Moon Druid. But it unfortunately did not happen. Yeah, they have the elf, 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 elf monk. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I mean, I guess I can attack now. I'm going to four creatures with four toughness. So we can only get through with this four drop here. I'll uh, move the boots here. I could have done that last turn as well. I could have had one more goblin. The last chapter of this thing is just draw hard. Alright, they will. They will draw hard. Veteran Dungeoner. Dungeoneer. Sure, so you draw a card and now the dungeon is finished. What's my removal? I have two sp spots of the hunt, which are straight up terminate because they have the basilisk. Armor Veteran. Not bad. I can move the boots on it. And give it plus one plus zero with the baller singer. I can tap it and we'll live with that. So this became a treasure. Okay. Draw another boots of speed. Fine. So moving the boots around. You tap my thing and I move on. Yep. Platypus. Good morning. All right, Dacnum. They have actually more cards than me. All right, what's this? I guess about if you draw a card and lose two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two if you do draw a card and lose two life. Okay. That's good. Very good in a spell like this. Oh, wow, they're attacking me with a 4 4. Okay. You start venturing into a dungeon. I feel like I'm blocking here. With uh, the circle of the moon druid, sure. Actually, it's better with the swarming. Uh, no, like with the circle of moon druid. Yeah. Okay, give it plus zero plus two. Boots of speed. Mm 
Um, a boot, a couple of boots here. I think I put three here. I can't really do anything with my mana anyway. Then I go next. Magic Arena is a fast client. It would be, it would be tough if it wasn't uh, this this fast of a client. Imagine if this was magic all I have to collect land, collect things, click that, and also had the timer. Whereas a magic arena there isn't the timer. Okay, what's this? Three mana, three two. When it comes into play, you must search your library for an enchantment. Reveal it, just put it on top. Okay. Sure. You missed it. Okay. What's your enchantments? You have a minimus containment. That's it? No, it's still fine, it's a 3-2. What's the second chapter on this one? You're gonna like to spray one, okay. A block with swarming goblins. Hoping they don't have any more combat trick. Nice. This is good, I love Palabial Shield. Alright, that's the Dun the Dean of the Bugbear. Dan, sorry, not Dean. Den of the bugbear. I put all my things in this. The combat. They will tap. Oh wow, they didn't tap it. Uh, final attack. I'm okay, just trading. Uh, and just trading here. The four drop for a two drop, and I can move my equipments around. Two on this, and one on this. It's gonna be very hard to beat the um, Eye of Black Knight in this spot. I'll, I'll leave through that. This is a 4 mana 3 2 in a spot like this, not doing anything. Dr. Storch, okay, weird. They're gonna keep for three. They they all keep for three. Three for an keep is a lot. But both Paladin Shielder and the the Dueling Rapier they out of keep. Yeah, so this is a three three life link. Hmm. Okay, let's stop drawing. They have sixteen cards of seventeen. I just can't really imagine winning, though. Wow. Ooh, two mana two two that does that. Great. Right, so this is a four four. And they are offering it for my plundering barbarian. They also scrub. They also getting two damage. Wow. Attack until next turn. That's fine. I just wanted to block with it. And you scry two. Scry two is a lot. I've never seen this mine before, but the bottom boat. Can I block. Okay. This is just the first game, unfortunately. <laughs> One game. It's lasting more this game than the draft itself. I also have like lots of lands left, but I have uh, five lands left. And uh, 10 spell. One, two, three. All right, go all in on this devoted paladin. And they're, I'm assuming they're tapping this underword. Oh, another one. Wow. Hey. Cool. I put all. Yeah, what do you do? You're a 2 1 1 skeleton. 
So cool, this dungeon mechanic. I love it. So cool. I'm gonna draft cards to go to dungeon next. You know that I still haven't gone to a dungeon yet. Why you three bottomed? There's some block in here. A block like this. How much damage get through? Otto, Otto, 11. So go to 5. Yeah, I think it's fine. Can I do, this? Can I do something with this? No. My turn. Armory Veteran. I want to keep it. I don't think so. Just play land and pass. And now this can become a 6-6 six, six in defense. They don't have the capper anymore. I'm not saying I'm in a good spot. I'm not. But maybe they don't have a good attack. I'm not dead on board. I mean, I guess I am if they put the Delver Torque on the skeleton. Maybe they don't do it. I like that opponent drafted Mono White. Draw three cards and reveal them. You may cast one of them without paying its mana cost. That's so cool. And that will be in different ways. There's also a chapter that deals one damage. Right? I think I'm officially dead. Alright, opponent. Good game. You, your deck's in, your deck's in very good. It took you a while, but I liked it. Oh no, why? I haven't, I haven't seen white yet. Alright, this hand is not good. They did say that the reason why that happened was COVID shipment. That COVID's like slowing down the shipment, which makes sense, but they could have just also like slow it in online, like digital. I mean, I guess they. Nah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay, we got a couple of boots. So dumb. No hunter. I like this. Thank you so much. Thanks for dump. Appreciate the support with Twitch Prime. All right, so Gnoll we'll Hunter wants my opponent to put six power in play. This pumps the team. I'm not sure if I'm going to go Bard on this next turn, because I'll be attacking for 5 if I do that. So what's this now? 3 mana, 2, 2, flying. I can simply venture into dungeon, sure. I'll give you a combo your turn if you complete the dungeon. of Alright. <laughs> wine Drake, that's surprise 1. Oh, I should put in a loser's alive. Okay, that's cool. So you chose that one. Okay, then, if you want to do that, I think I'm fine. I'm just attacking for five this turn, then. You're going to lose a life. The next chapter is... Wow, this this one's wild. Full of annihilation. Pretty funny. I played against two opponents, and they've used three dungeon. Veils of Fear. Each player loses two life. I'm going to discard a card. Alright, you pay two mana to make a treasure and venture into dungeon. Okay. And what do you do? If you want to lose this two life unless you discard a card. Lose two life. <laughs> Thanks. If you want to lose one life. Oh wow. This is aggressive. You should lose two life unless it's serious. <laughs> this one is aggressive. They pass. Ooh, supposed of the hunt. Well, that's good. Okay, I'm just dividing my boots here and attacking with both for power, so that my opponent will be unable to double block profitably. And if this is an instant, which is just a removal spell, you don't want to play a removal spell when your opponent is mana. 
Sorry, a uh, five spell when your opponent is mono. Yeah, this is a good attack here. Opponent could double block and kill one of them, but that's a two for one. That's the strength of the equipments. All right, I'm I'm fine with this trade, and I still have a combat trick if my opponent has a combat trick of their own. Wait, no, yeah. very good. Now path here, no reason to keep these boots. I'll have my spurs of talent up because they, I don't know, they might just venture. That's fine, so I get a four four. Six mana, six. I might be casting like a seven six. Six would be kind of hard. So can we? Yeah, I haven't played D and D, but I'm sure that all of this cards have a lot of flavor. Six mana, four four. Right, this is the popular end of turn. Whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage, destroy it. All right. Baller Singer. Yep, that's good. I love the boot speed so much. I probably... No, I wasn't lethal. I guess a land would have been lethal. Yeah, the 6 mana... 6 mana 4 for Dragon, I don't know. They don't seem great. But then again... Opponent goes first, my hand is good. I got a good hand. I even have one drop in Evolving Wilds. Plains Cleric Class, alright, what's this? If you're good in one life, you gain the much this one. Whenever you gain life, it was a winner. Wow. Nice, strong card. And last one is five mana. A discuss against level three, attend to a creature carving a grave to the battlefield. Ooh, den of the bugbear. Right on time. Uh do I wanna go Hobgoblin or Gnoll Hunter? They're yeah, I think I'm most likely not gonna attack with any of them. They play any creature. I probably wanna just uh, put them together. Okay, 2 minute 2 3, but I can kill it with my burning hands. Also known as Pepe hands. Yeah, I'm gonna go Gnoll Hunter. This was a great draw inspiring part. Next time I'm able to cast it, pump this or this, and be able to attack through the, the creatures, the map we will have. So let's kill the Unicorn. Ooh, very good. They're able to roll a dice, gain one life, gain double the life, and put an extra counter on that. Very strong. Yeah, I can't block here. I'm not sure how is this going here, because I can go Bard. Give this plus two plus two, and attack with the bows. I can double block those, and I'm taking this down. Yeah, that's probably okay. I'll attack with both, and now this gets first strike, and this gets a counter. Now, they can double block and trade with any of them. So basically, I'm offering the trade one of those for the Celestial Unicorn. They, they deny it. I think rightfully so, actually, because they do have a very powerful engine going. They need to get... If they chapter this, they can make this into a 3-4. But I have Burning Hands to kill the Sylvan Shepard, because this deals 6 damage to a green card. Stonebreaker Cleric, they can gain extra life here. Mm hmm Okay, I'm taking five. So let's see what they do here, because I'm definitely attacking with everything now. I even have Valor Singer if I want to attack for better. This becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Oh lord, what do I want to do here? Because I'm going could have a combat trick. Good morning, Ice Beam. I think I'm going Baller Singer. And going to combat. Let's put a counter on their oh this is a 4-4. Four, four. It doesn't die to the double block. I think I'm going on the bard. 
Uh, maybe I'll use this attack since it's actually a bit better. This is a 4 1 for a strike. And I'll attack with a, with a combat strike in my hand. Sort of. Because this can kill the Silver Shepherd if I want. This is a 4 4. This is a 4 1. This is a 3 3. The double block, I let them happen. I, I, I let it happen. I don't want to play a combat trick with them having two mana up. Especially when they made a pl a strange play last turn of just playing Dawnbreaker Cleric without activating this. So I think they have a combat trick in hand. So I'm not going to play my combat trick first. This is a good game. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Both of our... Both, both the players are just attacking each other. I had a very good curve in Hobgoblin Goblin into Guna Lantern into Inspiring Bard. I love how like we're both playing with mono commons. I guess this is an uncommon. Hello, Lexi Council. Good morning. Okay, they're doing the double block, and I'm okay with that. I am killing this green card. Because this way they might, you know, pump it. Or I'll just let it go. I don't do anything. Deal five damage to our creature. Okay, now I will do something. I'll deal six damage to the Silver Shepherd so that the Bard doesn't die. They kill Magnolanter and they kill the Dawnbreaker Cleric and they take four. Perfect. Everything went accordingly. Now they don't have any way to any ways to gain life. But they do have a 5 4, which is which is big. But they do have Valor Singer with a 3 3, so that can be bigger than that. Okay, they play a Bard, very good. Now they can gain 3 life and put another counter on this. E. That's the unicorn is very powerful. Very powerful. This card being common is strange. Boots of speed, okay. Boots of speed, okay. Now I can just attack with all pumping the Valor Singer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Then I'll play Swarming Goblin. I'm ready to chump block the unicorn. I recharged? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Okay, that's a trade. And I'll play this. Come on, two goblins, please. Nice. Perfect. We're rolled 11, so we got two goblins. I love the sweat on this die roll card. Ooh, our boy are Pegasus. Am I dead? I am. They give you plus one, plus one flying. All right, good game, opponent. Good game. Try to raise, but Flyer is a powerful tool, and my opponent was able to carry the, uh, the unicorn. Good game. I was hoping that, you know, the two goblins would have been fine to chump block twice. The opponent would have needed to stay back, but ended up, ended up dying. All right, one, two, not great, but the games that I lost were actually... I think I just lost to white decks. All right, hands very solid. I'm on the draw, but I have a nice curve. When you have such a good curve, I think being on the draw isn't that bad. I'll give it with my layer since I have another one of this. Eve's tool, because I fuck with them. When I'm just about you make a treasure token, keep treasure can be blocked. Oh, I'm a veteran. I love this. I'm actually casting a fizz over the basilisk here. Yeah, white seem very, very good. From the two opponents I've played against. I didn't draft a white. I was I drafted actually funny enough, and I drafted two blue green and two red green in my first four drafts. They all went good. They all went fine. I also think that red green is strong. Power level definitely seems very high though. Opponent, what do you do? You play bullet. Okay, it's a four mana three three there. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go Valor Singer and attack with my veteran. I think I'll put Valor Singer in my popper cube. It's always performing well in those drafts. I think like an ATB plus one plus one is really something. Plus one plus zero, sorry. Just pushing damage here is definitely relevant. Blue bird, black red is good. I haven't played any black yet, nor against any black deck. Oh wow, plus three plus three must be blocked. See, this is the type of card that I'm 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 interested in. 
because it looked good on surface, but it can also be clunky sometimes. Like if the opponent doesn't have any creature because they're just keeping it. It's a, it's a situational card, but it definitely performed well here. If we don't have another of these, that would be devastating. Ooh, F44. Reality is Masher. Ladies and gentlemen, boom. Okay, opponent wants to start this race. Interesting. Interesting race they want to start here. Yeah, I think I once again just running on my swarming goblins to to try and win the race come on roll high one goblin still fine though i can block bullet with the swarming goblin and uh well the wolf is unblockable if they want to but i'm not sure i definitely need one of my boots i have three boots of speed in this deck Opponent hasn't used, I guess they used the treasure immediately. They went bullet turn three. Funny, they kind of used Steve's tools as a mana ramp this game. They haven't, oh, what's this now? Four mana, two, two. It's kind of vampire zombies. You can show up some, so at the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, you may pay one black if you do make a pool. At the beginning of your end step, this doesn't seem great. Okay, what now? Uh, this is a 4 4 if I want to activate it. It does death fetch. It does not death fetch. Weird card. Just a weird card. How about I just, just like turn this up? Oh, it's hitting in Tiger. Now I think I can wait next turn. This will be a 5 5 next turn, right? Yeah, 5 5 is bigger than 4 4. Who would have thought? All right, let's just attack with this Warming Goblin here. Now put double creature and pass the turn. Oh wow. That's wild. What? I'm totally killing two creatures if I get the chance. I don't think there's a one mana combat trick. Totally. Not two for one? I mean three for one if you consider this goblin token. Sure, I'll just put this whatever card. Pass. I had a nice holiday. Very nice holiday. Siena is definitely one of the most beautiful cities I've ever I've ever seen. It's very small, but there's so much. Which is straight too. We had the we had the we had the fortune of having a, a guide on Saturday that like kind of explained uh, all the history place historic places and um yeah I'm very curious on this thing. I really appreciate it. Is out. Eat stools. Because you know all the news are you can find them on on Google of course, but you're pro sometimes just lazy and will not do it. So having the rare. I'm gonna put on top for the drained. Okay, that's a cool card. Alright, my turn. Draw land, Sabina. Um I just because, like, the problem is that, I don't want to, yeah, now I'm just waiting more with this layer of the Hydra. Awkward, or like... Maybe I can pump this and attack? Sure. Trading with the loathsome troll here. Next turn, this will be a 6 6, the layer of the Hydra. Hope I can draw one of my three uh, equipments for the Armory Veteran. Opponents uh, stopped on five lands, and they have three spells in end. That's risky. They can, like, if they, they can, like, return this, but it takes a while, unless they return, unless they roll 20. Okay, yeah, return turn creature, venture into dungeon, sure. What do you venture? Spray one, okay. 
photo. Okay. And now you play the Dark, Flo Dark Wolf Brawler. Uh huh. And I'll take my turn. Can do much. Definitely. I mean, let's see what I draw, but I do plan on activating the Lair of the Hydra. Opponent, please pass. Hmm, Father Singer. I think this changes something, doesn't it? I mean, attacking with a 6-6 six, six is pretty big. 7-6, actually. Yeah, I probably have to take this this pot to do this now. No, sorry. Hello. Hello, Pablo. Oh, I have seven mana. So, I have to pay six. Okay, it worked. And now I pump this and attack for seven. Now my opponent might double block. But if they do, I mean, they lose everything, and I'm just losing a land. Wow. Sure. Imagine trading a land for two creatures. That costs four and three mana. This card. What a bomb. Okay, what do you do? Yeah, it's basically the Urza Saga of Limited. I said to do this now because they might have like an instant speed removal spell. I don't know. There's the uncommon one. Find the path. Sure. Can you get a, a, a token? SX1 and this format aren't great if everyone is venturing into the token. You have one card left. They never use this card, the Thief's Tool. Alright. When it dies, you venture. Sure. Come on, why are you holding priority? Just pass the turn. What's happening? Alright, down of the bugbear. Nice. I'll play another Valor Singer. And then I'll um pump the the two veteran. So that I'll be able to get through the clattering skeleton. Sure. Hey, son. Twenty month for my favorite moderator. Thank you so much, Sayo Sun. Welcome, welcome. We're drafting red green creature land. We're unfortunately one and two. So it's not looking good, but this should be this should be a win here. Opponent doesn't have anything. We just attack for a million and we win. Thank you, thank you. For D support Sayo Sun. Alright, so we go to three three here. Two two here, not three three. Three three would be bad. I take the I could take a small bathroom break and I'll be back to continue this this draft here. Oh well, that group of Pega, but I don't think it's that bad. I can call group of Pega because every blue has to be for Pega. It's pretty good. White green, light gain, white black, dungeon. Alright, this end is nice. I own the draw, but once again, we have a very solid curve, so being on the draw is less troublesome. And that's for Critic's minus one minus one, sure. Okay. Tumbling Gas is able to trade with uh, you two. Alright. Red Black. Italian Wig, indeed. Uh, I'm just going with an Armory Veteran here. Next turn, I'm able to equip it with the Boots if I don't draw land. That is nice. Even if I miss on land drop, I have two removal spells, so. The Asian Avenger! With a large raid! Welcome, everyone! From the Asian Avenger stream. We are drafting the. Let me do a shout out for my good old friend, the Asian Avenger. How's it going, my friend? I haven't... I don't know what's good on here, but a hair looks good. 
Did you stream? Did you stream constructed? Four mana three three. When your text, the hair look good. Yeah, the hair is to celebrate the Italian football win in the last uh, last last Sunday. I haven't been streaming uh, uh, this week because of a uh, vacation, so I had to. I had to stream today about it. I was playing standard. Nice. You mean uh, the 2022 standard or the actual standard? The mirror control. I'd love to trade the mirror control. I will eventually go back. This is good. If I if I yeah, this is this is up goblin and bondy lord is great. If I draw a goblin, I'm able to like shut shut this down. Shark typhoon, yeah. I love uh I love Shark Typhoon. It would be sad to see it going. I know what I'm more sad about, if it's Shark Typhoon or Yorian. I think it must be Yorian. Let me do one for a pill. I don't know. Alright, my opponent kills my rare with fire. But I have one card in hand. You see here how the the partial ability of missing land drop, it's just secretly great. Let's put on a pepper hand. And I'm just gonna slam for four here. Boots of speed is so good. Thank you so much again, uh, Dijon Avenger. Oh wow, put him play a mythic rare. Can't block though. But that's something. It's almost morning for you. Uh, you have to watch a new episode of Lucky. I don't know what that is, but uh, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again for the for the raid. Well, we can go inspiring bard. Because I have to make my creature bigger. Actually, this one can't block. I think I'm winning the race, so it'll be, it'll be, we'll be just fine. I'll play Bard. I'll uh, give plus two, plus two to this. Then I'll play land, move the boots on here, attack with both. Then I'll be attacking with uh, two large creatures. A 4-3 and a 5-5. Five, five. My opponent... Can only give this minus one minus one, so it's not enough. Good morning, Daisy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, my opponent has six lands and one card in it. The card is just cast. I guess it just flooded out. I mean, the boost of speed just puts my, put always puts the opponent behind in the race. Oh wow. What is this now? Did you, did you, what happens? Oh no, you killed everything? Come, what? 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 Get cats so fast like that. Come on, you can't kill everything. And you have a 5 3 fire. Does this have any downside? It's too good. All right, let's roll a 20 then. I'm okay with a 16. Losing, oh, they lost life. Oh, you, they lost life. Okay. All right, they lost life. That's a downside for sure. Okay, they play a 3-1 flyer. Do you attack with this? I don't think you can. And you play a treasure a, from a 3-3. Three, three. The one attacks, you're already 20, sure. Burning against... It's still, still a shock, still very good. All right, you attack me with a 5... So I'm dead in the air next turn. I drew a top land, unfortunately. Well, uh, look. let's think about this. I certainly have to burn against this, otherwise I'm dead. Can I push in some damage? I don't think I can. Considering I keep in a goblin attack with all, but they just block those. They take five and then they attack with all. I have to kill those. Yeah. It's not great. Well, I for sure have to burn against this, because I have to do it. Alright then, let's just keep the Swarming Goblin and uh, attack with it. They are trading, of course. Then I am playing Burning Ends on Flame Skull, so that I'm not dead in the air. 
Put it with a powerful combination of Mythic and Rare. Now I'm keeping this, and I'm playing a top land, and I finish my turn. Now my opponent can cast one of these this turn. Mm-hmm. They choose the Flame Skull, okay. Now, what about the Orcus? They play Bag of Holding. What does this do? Draw a card and discard a card. That's not great. All right, they lose. Look how good is Boots of Speed. No, but for real. I believe Boots of Speed, actually, actually, they haven't lost. Cinque. It were Octo. Wait, they haven't lost. I lied. It's all discounted. For some reason, I thought that even the tokens were hasty, but no, they aren't. I I died, actually. You know what I should have done? should have attacked with a 1-1 one -one last turn. Fuck, oh, damn it, I didn't think about this. I'm so stupid. I should have attacked with a 1-1 last turn. Come on, I can't pump like this. This was an easy play. The card was just face up. Brutta merda, perché non sono altro. Cinque, due. It wouldn't have been... It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been lethal regardless. And if I tap with all, I still die. All right, opponent, good game. Well done, well done. The powerful combination of mythic and rare is definitely, is definitely a strong strategy. Now, what's the time? 11.49. All right. Now I'm going to do a new draft. What I can do is uh, playing some playing some Starter 2020. We can play some Starter 2020 here. Because I've heard good things of that format and I still haven't played it. So let's check that one. Warp of the Dragon Kind. Not great. Rare. Okay. 2022, what did I say? I have built this one instead of 22 but it wasn't it wasn't very good what can i build i have seen my you know what i want to